Dear students, welcome to EPG Patashala. I am Professor P. Baskaradi, Principal Investigator of the subject Indian Culture. Uh, myself also coordinator for the paper Outlines of Indian History. In this Outlines of Indian History, now you are going to learn about the history of three dynasties, Sunga, Kanva and Chatwahana dynasties. The learning objectives of the present study are Sunga dynasty, origin and genealogy, their contribution to Indian culture, Kanva dynasty, their role in Indian history, Shatavahanas, their origin, identity, genealogy and chronology, achievements of the Shatavahana rulers, Saka Shatavahana conflict, declining of the Shatavahana dynasty and their contribution to Indian culture. After the declining of the Mauryan dynasty, the political integration brought by the Mauryas were declined. As a result, the, in India, several local powers rose to importance. In northern India, Mauryas were succeeded by Sungas, later followed by Kanvas. In Deccan, Shatavahanas rose to prominence with Pratishtanapura as capital. In northwestern India, several foreigners came to India as invaders and they occupied northwestern India. So the imperial tradition of the Mauryas did not last long. Political unity of India had been lost. North India witnessed a series of foreign invasions. Post Mauryan period saw the emergence of small indigenous and foreign kingdoms. These kingdoms constituted the age of small kingdoms. Let us start to know about the history of the Sungas. Sungas were the immediate successors of the Mauryas. Pushyamitra Sunga was the founder. Up, they have an obscure origin of Brahmin, Brahmin family. Pushyamitra Sunga usurped the throne by assassinating the last Mauryan ruler, Bhutata. Ten kings of the family ruled for 112 years. See the genealogical list of the Sunga rulers starting from Pushyamitra to Devabhoti. Let us know about the achievements of Pushyamitra Sunga. He was a great king, fought number of wars, conquered Vidarbha region. Greek invasion of Patlipatra was repulsed by Vasumitra, the grandson of Pushyamitra. He also waged war with Karavela of Kalinga and extended his empire up to river Narmada. He was a follower of Brahmanism and performed two Asumeda Yagas. He was a great pattern of art and architecture. Pushyamitra Sunga, as a follower, constructed so many monuments in various places of India. Parhut and Sarchi are the important. They are the museum specimens to know about the art and architecture of the day. One of the important contribution is renovation of Buddhistic monuments at Barhut and Sanchi. See the grandeur of the art and architecture of the Barhut and Sanchi. So far we discussed about Pushyamitra Sunga and his achievements. Now let us know about his success. He was succeeded by his son Agrimitra. Agnimitra was succeeded by eight kings. They continued the tradition of entertaining Greek ambassadors. One of the Greek ambassador, Heliodorus, issued a Garuda pillar. It is inscribed in honor of the god Vasudeva. Devabhuti was the last ruler assassinated by the Kanva ruler, Vasudeva Kanva. So far we discussed about the political history of the Sungas, starting from Pushyapintra Sunga up to last ruler. Now let us know about their contribution and their place in Indian history and culture. They ruled a short period of period but played an important part in history. They checked the advanced tide of the Greeks. They revived the Brahmanism and her sacrifice. They promoted Sanskrit language and Vaishnavism. Patanjali, one of the great scholar, composed Mahabhasya in Sanskrit. Manu, another scholar, wrote the law book Manusmati. Already we mentioned that Buddhistic art survived and continued during this period also. See the grandeur of Buddhistic sculptures at Barhut and Sanchi. Now, let us see the, the extension of the territorial limits of the Sunga and Shatavahana dynasties. The Sungas ruled over the northwestern India around Patiliputra and the Shatavahanas ruled over the Deccan with Pratishtanapura and see the map of their location and the extended territorial limits. So far we discussed about the Sunga dynasty. Now let us know about the success of the Sungas in North India. Sungas were succeeded by Kanva dynasty and they ruled from 73 BC to 28 BCE. 
Vasudeva Kanva was the founder. He worshipped the throne by assassinating the last Sunga ruler, Devabhuti. There are four rulers. The genealogy are Vasudeva, Bhumimitra, Narayana, Susharman. They ruled over Magadha for only 45 years. At the time, the kingdom was confined to Patliputra and the Kanvas were overthrown by the Satavahanas of Deccan. Thus, they lost their political importance in the beginnings of 1st century BC. So far, we discussed about two indigenous kingdoms that ruled over northern India after the fall of Mauryas. Now, let us know about the history of the Satavahanas who rose to prominence in the Deccan with Pratishtanapura as capital. The Satavahanas succeeded the Mauryas in Deccan. They dominated the region between the south and north in India. Hence, this dynasty is styled as Bridge Kingdom. They brought political unification of Deccan and they were the initial transmitters of Aryan ideals and institutions and contributed for the progress of polity, society, economy, religion, art and architecture. To know about the history of the Satavahana dynasty, various source materials are available. Regarding the literary sources that are available to know about the Satavahana uh, history, the Puranas form an important source. Five Puranas, the Macha Purana, Vayu Purana, Vishnu Purana, Brahmananda Purana and Bhagavata Purana, they mention various details about the Satavahana kings and their regnal years. Besides the Puranas, to know about the social, social and cultural history of the Satavahanas, the Halas Kadasya Prasati, Gunadya's Bharatkata, Sarvavarma's Kadantra Vakaranam, Vachayana's Kama Sutra, they provide interesting details about social, economic and religious life of the period. To know about the flourishing of trade and commerce of Satavahana period, the Periplus of Eritrean Sea, written by a Greek uh, anonymous author, it provides interesting information about the trade centers, ports and also the merchandise that carried between Satavahanas and Roman empires. Uh, see the, the Satavahanas contacts with uh, Roman empires where the Periplus of the Eritrean Sea mentioned the uh, trade links with the Satavahana empire to Roman countries of the world. Besides literary sources, archaeological sources are also available many to know about the Satavahana history. Particularly, they also issued number of inscriptions. The Nanagat inscription of Naganika, Nasik inscription of Balasri provide a graphic uh, information about the achievements of the great Satavahana rulers Satakarni the first and also Gautami Putra Satakarni. Their coins are also available plenty. They also provide authentic information about social, economic and relevant information of the age. So far we discussed about the various source materials that are available to know about the history of the Satavahanas. The information is scanty because of the divergent theories are there about their origin, identity, homeland, genealogy and chronology. From the Puranas, it is mentioned that 30 Andhra kings with a total reign of 456 years. Simuka of the Andhra race uh, killed Susharma, the last Kanva king. In all the Puranas, Simuka placed top in the list. The Puranic description says in the origin, divergent opinions are there among the historians to find out the starting point of the Satavahana history and see the various dates suggested by uh, historians about the starting point. They started from 271, 231, 277 and also they assigned 30 BCE for the starting of the Satavahana dynasty. Dear students, we have discussed so far the source materials, the genealogy, chronology and also the origin homeland of the Satavahanas. Now, let us know about the Satavahana rulers and their achievements. Simuka was the founder and he ruled 23 years. He began his career in Deccan around 230 BC after the death of Ashoka and fall of the Mauryan sovereignty. He expanded his territories up to Vidarbha region and made Pratishtana as capital. Large number of his clients founded Kotilingala. As a result, 
it is presumed that Simuka ruled over the Deccan, combining the parts of Andhra as well as the Maharashtra region. Kanha was the second ruler. He extended the empire further up to Nasik. He patronized Buddhism, where his inscriptions mentioned the liberal endowments made to Buddhistic religion. Look at the location of the Pratishtanapura on the right bank of the river Godavari. Satakani the first was the first great king of the Satavahana history. His achievements described in Nanagat inscription is inscribed by his queen Naganika. From that inscription, it is mentioned that he conquered Malwa, Anupa and Vidarbha regions. He entered matrimonial alliances with Radhikas and married Naganika. He exercised his sway over Upper Deccan, Konkan and Kathiva regions. To commemorate these victories, he assumed the title Dakshina Padapati. He performed Asyamedha and Rajasuya Yagas and issued a number of coins. Asyamedha coins are important one. He promoted Vedic religion and patronized Brahmanas by giving lands and gifts. It is known that Shatavahanas were the first in the history of India who started issuing of land, land grants to Brahmins and also religious institutions. The Hathikumpa inscription of Aravela, it mentions the Saka Shatavahana conflict during the time of Shatakarni the first. Next important ruler of the Shatavahana history is Shatakarni the first who had a long reign of 56 years. He occupied Kalinga after the death of Karavela. His coins were discovered at Sanchi. That means he also, he once again revived the Shatavahana empire as usual due to the which lost due to the invasions of the Karavela of Kalinga. Kuntala Shatakarni was the 13th king mentioned in several literary works. His reign is important. Sanskrit replaced Prakrit as an official language. His court was adorned several ministers who were great scholars in Prakrit as well as Sanskrit language. Sarva Varma authored Kathantra Vyakaranam. Gunadya, another minister, he was the author of Bhurat Katha, which is a famous work in the ancient literature is concerned. Pulomavi, the 15th king, killed Susharma of the Kanva dynasty. Hala, the 17th king, is more important in literary work of the age, where he compiled Gada Saptashati in Prakut language. After Hala, the Satvahana empire suffered setback due to the invasions of the Sakas. The western Chatrapa king, Nahapana, occupied Western Deccan, Northern Konkan, Malwa, Kathiawar and Rajasthan. Now, see the map of uh, Chathavahana Empire during the time of uh, Gautame Putra, Chathakarni. So far, we discussed the political history of Chathavahanas starting from Simuka up to 22nd ruler. Now, the 23rd ruler is the greatest ruler of the Chathavahana dynasty, that is Gautame Putra, Chathakarni. He is the outstanding ruler of ancient India, who revived the glory and grandeur of the Satavahana Empire in all its respects. The Nasik inscription issued by his mother Gautami Balasri mentioned several details about the personality and achievements of this great king. He destroyed the Sekas, Pallavas and Yavanas, defeated the Seka king Nahapana, and wrested from him the territories of Anupa, Aparanta, Saurashtra, Kukora, and Avanti. Gautama Patra Shatakarni captured the territories of Nahapana and also he brought several coins. The Gautama Patra Shatakarni restructured that coins of Nahapana and issued a variety of series. In the Nasik inscription, Gautama Balasri mentioned several details about the achievements and the character of Gautama Patra Shatakarni. It is said to be that he assumed the title the Samudra Toya Pitavaha. That means who the king who drank his horses in three oceans. He tried to fill the duties of Dharma, Artha and Kama. He restored the caste purity by assuming the title Vini Varna Sankarana. He patronized Brahmanism and Buddhism and assumed the title Eka Brahmana. Thus, Gautami Patra Shatakani occupies an important place in the history of 
Shatavahana in general and history of India in particular. After the death of Gautami Patra Shatakani, the Shakas once again resumed their conflict with the Shatavahanas. Rudradaman established his authority over greater part of Western Deccan once again. It is said to be that there were mutual uh, alliances between the Shatavahanas and Shakas during the time of Rudradaman, where he gave his daughter in marriage to the next ruler Vasishtiputta Shatakarni. Yajnasri Shatakarni was the last important ruler of the Shatavahana dynasty. He ousted once again the Shaka power from the western India and re-established the Shatavahana empire as usual. His reign is important for various aspects of Shatavahana history. Nagarjuna, the famous Buddhistic philosopher and founder of the Madhyamika philosophy, adorned his court. He wrote several works of the Buddhistic literature. He was the king who issued first time the ship master coins. The issuing of ship master coins indicates the flourishing of trade between Shatavahanas and the countries of the world. He enlarged the famous Amaravati Stupa with stone railings and as a result Amaravati became an important Buddhistic center in Andhra. After Ignesri Shatakani, the Shatavahana Empire started to decline. Though there are three rulers, they are very weak. The last ruler is Puloma Vidya as per the Puranic list. But the declining of the Shatavahana Empire is in confusion. There are various coins which bear the names of the Shatavahana rulers, but they were not figured in any Puranic list. It is said to be that the Shatavahana rule came to an end in the beginnings of Christian era due to the rise of many local powers in Andhra region, Maharashtra and other parts of the Deccan. So far we discussed about the Shatavahana rulers, their origin, chronology, homeland, career of the great personalities of the Shatavahana Empire and also their decay. Let us know about what is their contribution to an Indian culture in this 406 years of their role. They achieved the political unification of Deccan and Andhra and ruled 456 years. During this period, they developed agriculture, trade and commercial activities. They issued a number of kinds and patronized Buddhism and Brahmanism. They were the initial transmitters who were responsible for the spread of Aryan institutions to South India and performed Asumeda and Rajasya sacrifices. They promoted Prakrut and Sanskrit languages. In the middle of the Shatavahana Empire, Sanskrit replaced the Prakrut. They opened new vistas in the field of Buddhistic art, architecture and culture. Their contributions to art and architecture, still they are in flourishing condition. They are museum specimens to know about the artistic excellence of the Deccan of the age. The Buddhistic cave structures, stupas, chaityas are found in Nasik, Karle, Vedsa and Amaravati. See the grandeur of the Karle cave architecture, sculptures and other things. And also the Vedsa, Amaravati stupa, they are all the contributions of the Shatavahanas in the development of art and architecture. Thus, the Shatavahanas occupied an important place in the history and culture of India. So far, we discussed the political history of India after the declining of the Mauryas. After the declining of the Mauryas, the northern India was ruled over by Sungas, later followed by Kanvas. In Deccan, the Shatavahanas rose to prominence and ruled nearly 456 years. These indigenous rulers, they occupied an important place in the political history of India and also they are remembered in the cultural industry for their contribution to society, economy, religion, 
and also their contribution is immense in the development of indian art architecture sculpture and others thus the they have unique place in the history and culture of india dear students thank you for your patience learning if you want to learn more about these dynasties follow the e text uh, self assessment program and also further sources where they provide sufficient information about the dynasties and their role in in their history and culture